very warm welcome and a good evening to yet another exciting and informative episode of our tech show Innovate. Here it's always about innovations, inventions, new technologies and above all the young minds that better the technology we use every single day with me Brenda Kabazi. But first a sneak peek of what we have on the show for you this evening. <music> Imagine two plastic cups with hot and cold water connected to create electricity. Well, when you look at what I'm holding, the first thing that will cross your mind is that it is a simple box. But right inside this box are two cups. If one filled with hot and cold water actually generates electricity. Now join me as I tell you just how it works. We all know that scientists are in a constant search for alternative energy sources and this is now evident with the water generator dubbed H2O Gene. Our innovation is a water powered generator. What a generator does, we all know it. It's simply to generate what? Electricity. But basically this time we are using water as, as a, instead of using as the fuel in, in this case. Instead of using fuel that we buy from a petrol station maybe, this time we are using water. Any water, we could get it from the streams, borehole, taps and all that. It's been a while now since Dennis and Richard started out making the water-powered generator. The state at which we are now, it's, it's a prototype. It's not yet in the final version, but it can do something practical. You, you could uh, light a bulb and you could even charge a phone. About 80% of Ugandans have no access to electricity because of its cost. Therefore, this duo chose to make a generator from the simplest of resources, which is water. What inspired us as a team to create this is, uh, you know, when we, when we get to the community, we look at problems, then think of how to solve these problems. So we took it back to the time when the president was trying to demonstrate drip irrigation. He wanted to actually practically uh, practice irrigation on, on, uh, on plants but using bo bottles. But we thought of, uh, uh, we thought of uh, something, if there are streams all over, in all villages there could be a stream. So the best opportunity was to simply pump this water from maybe the streams to the gardens. That's when we thought of this. Because still, in addition to this innovation, we, had, we have an innovation in agriculture. So we wanted to support the other innovation with, with the water power generator to, to help in the, what? in the drip irrigation. The H2O gene is composed of plastic cups and wired to create electricity. Uh, this simple generator we invented is composed of cups. One, 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 one of the cups will, will have to hold hot water and then the other cup will hold cold, what? hot water. And then in between the cups we have a heat sink that we got from a computer. The H2O gene produces up to 5 volts that can light a bulb and charge a phone. This is how it works. Uh, on this dispenser, uh, this side has hot water, this one has cold water. With our generator, we put here hot water and we put cold water here. So at first I'm going to put cold water here. That's enough. Then I'll put hot water. That's enough also. Then after that, I'm going to cover it so that we, we keep the hot water hot and the cold water cold. Then after that, I will test the bulb. Okay, it goes on. Now this one is also a USB port. We also got it from a USB motherboard from a computer. Uh, uh, it's uh, on this uh, USB port. We have inside there. We have voltage regulators uh, that regulate uh, the voltage we get from here, because the voltage we get here is not constant. It keeps on reducing and increasing. 
So we, to get a constant voltage out here, you put a voltage regulator to give you a constant voltage. Right now it can stay on for over five hours. The generator converts the mechanical energy from the water into electrical energy to produce voltage of about five volts. The, the setup we have right now are two uh, simple cans. We used cups um, and we, ha we got two heat sinks from computers. Uh, we put one in, the, in, the, in, the, in, a, in one cup and the other in another one. You get In one cup we put cold water, in the other one we put hot water. There we get a heat difference. And this heat difference can be worked on to produce electricity. How? Because we, we all know that energy is neither created nor destroyed. You just transform it from one form to another. And anything on this planet is energy. You just put a channel to transform it to another form. You get So, in this, when we put cold water there, um, and we put hot water, that is a heat difference. Like a way refrigerator works, you put it in power, you get inside of a refrigerator cold, but when you touch at the back, it is hot. What? That is a heat difference created from electricity, you get? Which means, since electricity itself is energy, and this temperature difference is also energy, you get? So, if I have the temperature difference, I can create electricity, you get? And right now, we are just producing 5 volts, just for testing, for a prototype. But if we, have, we had enough resources, we could build a generator that can even power a building or a village. Power shortage may have a solution now with a simple water generator if put on the market. What we are trying to solve, we are seeing this uh, uh, limited access to power, in, uh, most especially in villages. You get it. So we think that this version of a, 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 a generator that uses water will be cheaper because we are thinking of, uh, of, of selling uh, uh, the first version at only 50,000. The simple version that can power two bulbs and also charge a phone for, for almost a day. But how sustainable is this innovation? Well, with this, uh, maintain well, the, the efficiency of this de generator depends on how long you can keep this water hot. You get it. And the way we are trying to solve this, we are thinking of uh, uh, creating two versions. One with vacuums. You, you, we all know flasks. That when you get a flask and put hot water, it... So we are thinking of creating one version that uses uh, vacuums in those two cans, such that when someone puts their hot water, it can stay hot for some time. And another version we are thinking of, we are thinking of embedding heaters in the, the, the can that has the hot water, such that when uh, someone boils water, the generator starts uh, producing voltage, and some of this voltage can be used to, heat, to power the heaters to reheat the water to that, the, the required temperature. You get it? Uh, such that someone boils water for once and the generator can work for like four days. You get. And another version we are thinking of, we are thinking of creating one that, can, that uses only cold water. How? Because we know water is composed of hydrogen and oxygen. And these uh, uh, normal batteries of ours, they use hydrogen ions to give you power, you get. So if we could break those two bonds and free the hydrogen from oxygen, we could get electricity. So it will depend on the funding we have uh, uh, to produce that generator. Make one for hot water and another one for only cold water. This is Richard's appeal to the public. Uh, right now what we, we are requesting anyone that can help us put this uh, to a commercial level will be appreciated. 
Because right now we are using only our resources from our pockets. You get But we, if we had an external hand, we could uh, uh, put this on commercial level very quickly. The sky is the beginning for these young minds who hope to make the H2O gene a household name.